Hi Gemini, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your March 2021 monthly tarot forecast. This is for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I would like to say welcome to all of you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. All right guys, so here's the Ace of Swords. All right, what does the sign of Gemini have coming up in the month of March 2021, please? Gemini. Gemini. We have the Ace of Swords crossed by the world. Okay. We have the Emperor at your foundation, the Four of Pentacles in the recent past, the Sun crowning you. Wow. Coming up in the near future, we have the Empress. We have the Two of Wands in the position of your power. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Tower and energy going into april we have the page of pentacles okay very nice look at these majors okay we do have the five of swords at the bottom of the deck all right so some of you dealing with some haters this is jealousy that's what i'm getting with this no matter if you're male or female if you're coupled you may even have um someone interfering with your relationship that's not for all of you but some of you definitely may resonate with that let's see all right so we have the five of swords the six of pentacles we have the two of cups all right we have the the page of wands with the four of cups yeah this is rejection Okay, interesting. Um, so someone's being a little dramatic. Um, so here in March, Gemini, if you're single or even if you're coupled, um, someone may be approaching you. They may, um, they may be giving you a lot of attention, uh, but they, they also might be the type of person they like a lot of attention. For some of you, I see someone um, asking you out. Someone is definitely very interested in you, Gemini, but you're, you're going to reject this person. This can go either way. Remember that. So this is either you rejecting them or they're rejecting you. With the Three of Swords, the Four of Cups. This also can be um, like a sexual invitation. Uh, that is being rejected. Could be from a fire sign. It could also be an air sign. A Libra. I'm getting Libra very strong here. So a Libra could be significant. This is someone playing games. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest, because this is a very positive spread here. For some of you, you may have already dealt with these energies. And so maybe someone asked you out, Gemini, you could have rejected them and then they could have gotten mad. <laughs> they could have acted um, immature. Yeah, they could have got pissed off. if you rejected them, but um, the very first card to flip out for you is the Ace of Swords here. So uh, something is done. If someone was playing games, uh, if someone was acting foolish, you know, if this is not on the love front, this, this can just be a friend. Some of you maybe had a fake friend around you, um, very jealous of you, Gemini, but you are going to see things clearly here right at the start of the month 
You also could be telling someone exactly how you feel. You could be making a cut here, cutting someone out of your life. You know, maybe not wanting, wanting to deal with someone who's dramatic or immature. Ace of Swords, clarity, truth coming in. If someone was, you know, playing games, we have completion here. Some of you leveling up by you maybe cutting off this person. You're able to grow. You're able to plant new seeds and move in a different direction. Yeah, some of you whole all by yourself. You don't need this person, this friend, this this could be an ex, to be honest. For some of you, this could be an ex who's pissed off um, that you broke up with them. Also, some of you, you could be giving your time and attention to someone new here, and maybe an ex doesn't like it. You know, I can, I can read this a number of different ways. This is you receiving attention here. And I think there's jealousy around you. So, you know, if this is romantic or not, this is, this is definitely jealousy. And it's because your whole Gemini all by yourself, you, you know, you don't need anyone. Now, uh, some of you are signing a contract here. You might have held off on, on doing this. Now, this could be with a divorce. This could be with, you know, purchasing a home. This could be with anything. I see you signing a contract here. At your foundation, I have the emperor. So maybe an Aries or a Taurus was significant prior. This can be your energy if you're if you're male or if you resonate with the more masculine energy. Um, this was you maybe taking control of a situation, stepping into your power. Could be cutting someone off. The emperor brings order. And so if something was chaotic, if something was just kind of, um, yeah, challenging, uh, you may have stepped in or somebody may have stepped in to bring order to, you know, a situation. You may have been stubborn uh, in the past with the emperor here and the four of pentacles. This is you definitely closed off uh it is it is a, a stubborn energy here some of you may have taurus in your chart um but yeah you could have been dealing with a stubborn individual or you know this was you holding back not giving to maybe this player who wanted attention but this is interesting because crowning you we have the sun which is you open so some of you may have been holding back from a situation but there's clarity with the sun and the ace of swords there is clarity there is victory there is achievement here and this is big this is big okay that's coming in right at the start of the month so for some of you a taurus is significant others maybe a leo is significant an aquarius may be significant possibly Scorpio, but I'm not getting that as strong. I think many of you Geminis that I'm connecting with, you're dealing with a Taurus, someone who has Taurus in their chart, possibly a Leo, possibly an Aries. But you're done. You are leveling up. You're done with whatever drama was going on prior. You may have been holding back or maybe you felt stuck or blocked within a situation, but here there's clarity, there is success. The sun is a, a freeing energy. It's also you, Gemini, incredibly optimistic here. Your thoughts are very positive. So for many of you, this is in the past. Also, this is you playing a win, if you want the truth here. You're playing a win. So if you are a Gemini, who is, let's say, maybe getting a divorce. 
or maybe a divorce is final here with the Ace of Swords in the world. This is behind you. Um, you feel free here right at the start of the month. You feel free. You feel whole. You're starting that next chapter here. Some of you, your energy has returned. If you felt a little stuck um, or if you were dealing with low energy prior, this is definitely a shift in the energy. Some of you really focused on your well-being. Uh, also, you could be doing some... Could be doing some different things here um maybe making some changes uh, to your appearance this could be changing your hair this could be a number of of different things some of you are maybe um doing some cosmetic procedures you might even have to travel here in march to do that others um you're taking you know better care of yourself could be dieting, exercising, looking good, feeling good. That's the most important. And you're opening a new door here with the Empress. The Empress is abundance. And with the sun, you're you're happy, Gemini, and you're abundant, okay? Um, you're looking good, you're feeling good. I think people are jealous. And you're also planting new seeds here. Now, these seeds that you are planting, you will have to nurture them. You will have to be patient. We see you opening a new door here around the third week. For many of you, this time is, is very significant. You could be weighing the options here, weighing the pros and cons, um, going back and forth, trying to make a decision here at this time. Because you're planting seeds. So it's like, do you want to give your time and energy to this? Or do you want to do this? That's really what I'm getting with this. But yeah. I mean, literally, you hold the world in your hands. Whatever you want, um, you can make it happen at this time, Gemini. The energy is just really good. Really, really good. Now, we have the Queen of Swords. And this is how you're being viewed by others around you. So that is, you know, that's very good. You're coming up in your element. Very focused. Very focused. You're focused on yourself first and foremost. That's what I'm seeing here. Not caring, you know, what anybody else thinks, which is, which is good. You're shining bright. You're focused on the future, and that's, you know, that's that's big. You're focused on the future. Now, some of you may be married, absolutely. Others, you're not. This is a severing of ties. Uh, but you're good. You're over it. You're over it. Um, yeah, you're over it. Now, in the hopes and fears, I do have the tower. Um, but for many of you, this is a home. This is a property that's significant. So um, if you are getting a divorce, it could be that, you know, maybe you guys were fighting over a property, something like that. Others, you're purchasing a home. I see success around this, if that's something you were hoping for. You know, this can be, you know, crazy competition, intense comp competition. And so maybe, you know, the area that you're in, um, you know, it's not easy to maybe uh, get a house uh, wherever you're at, you know, maybe low inventory or something like that. Um, some of you, though, are purchasing a home. And here around the second week, I mean, you could really be focused on that home quite a bit. Some of you are redecorating or you are maybe remodeling uh, a home here at this time. That's really what I'm getting with this. If you were hoping to sell your house, for some of you, it could happen at the start of the month. If it's not happening at the start, it's definitely going to happen by the end of the month. Yeah, We have the Page of Pentacles. Um, with the Tower, for some of you, there's something you're learning here at this time that you were unaware of. But I see you learning something here at this time. It might have something to do with the child, with the sun, and the page of pentacles, the empress here. I am reading for some Gemini moms. 
So there could be something with a child. Um, could be traveling to see your child if you have a grown child or uh, maybe a grandbaby, something like that. If you have someone new coming in, because I'm also getting here that if you are a Gemini, if you have an emperor that's coming in, or if you have an empress that's coming in, very beautiful woman, very attractive. Um, for some of you, this is a soulmate. This is definitely a soulmate. I am getting that. Page of Pentacles uh, can be you receiving an offer here at the end of the month. But let's do some clarifying. Let's take a look at this Four of Pentacles, which is in your recent past, which could have been you holding back from someone. It's a very protective energy. Okay, interesting. All right, let's take a look at... I'm going to clarify a few things. The Ace of Swords. Let's take a look at the world. These cards are just uh, coming right out. Okay, so... Ten of Pentacles, for some of you, again, it's 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 a property. It could be a property that is um, at a distance. So this could be like in a different country or state, something like that. Uh, also, if you have something legal, it could be that um, it, it may have something to do with an inheritance. Uh, or again, a property. Maybe you and your ex fighting over a home. Let's take a look at this Five of Swords. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Ace of Swords again at the bottom of the deck, which is a card of victory. Yeah, but you had to fight for this. So, yeah. Five of Swords is you playing a win. It's it's um you playing a win. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. You're making a decision here. You're making a decision. I think you're definitely uh, weighing the pros and cons here. This is something maybe you've been thinking about quite a bit, but you're making a decision. Now, the Ace of Swords can be you making the right decision. And this is at the start of the month. Making the right decision. So with the Ace of Swords, it can cut both ways. So it could be that you're cutting someone off, cutting something out of your life, making a cut somewhere. And looking at the world, we have the Ten of Pentacles. It did land almost in the reverse. So for some of you, this was you maybe waiting to move house, waiting to find the right house. Uh, you will. Others, you may have been uh, fighting over a property, something like that, or an inheritance, something with the family. With the Ace of Swords, I have the High Priestess. Um, could be that a family member was keeping secrets, something like that. But it will be revealed with this energy here. Um, High Priestess. There's a strong knowing. So really, you know, trust your instincts here, Gemini, at the start of the month. You might have actually pretty, pretty strong gut feelings here at the start of the month. There might be just a, a strong knowing about a situation. Looking at the four of pentacles, I have the three of cups in the reverse. And so you could have been dealing with a friend who was closed off, or you may have been closed off to someone. There could have been a third party for some of you, not all of you. Uh, but let's pull you some additional guidance cards. Overall, I mean, the energy is just amazing. You have the Emperor and the Empress here in this spread. So if you are coming together with someone, I think that that's the challenge, is you guys actually coming together. It's a process. Something could be revealed here at the start of the month. Interesting. Aquarius had this as well. So some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. All right, let's look at career for Gemini, please. What is the advice for Gemini for March, please? Okay. All right, and let's take a look at your love life. Okay. And then I'm going to pull you one last card here, looking at your love life, Gemini, for the month of March. Wow, 
All right, so Aquarius had this as well. It's show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. So some of you dealing with an Aquarius. Show the world the real you, Gemini, which you are. I mean, we have the sun here. You're stepping out. You could be telling someone how you feel. Very confident. I see you very confident. Looking at career, we have power of prayer. Give this situation to God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prayers. So yeah, some of you need to pray. If you don't pray, you need to communicate. Um, communicate and be specific. Uh, maybe needing to um, vocalize, you know, what it is that you're trying to manifest because I definitely see you manifesting and we definitely see you planting seeds here. But I think you need to be specific. That's really what I'm getting with this is, um, yes, be open, which you are. Stay positive, which you are. But needing to um, maybe vocalize those intentions and make sure that you are specific. We see you man manifesting. For some of you, you're manifesting love. Now, you could have ended it with an emperor. We have separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. So um, this could be a severing of ties. This could be your ex-husband. I see you good, though. So if, if, if you resonate with that, I see you good, Gemini. You're good. You don't need anybody else. That's for sure. You're good. Um, others, I mean, it could be that your partner's away. Maybe they're in the military, something like that. Some of you are single, though. You're looking good. You're feeling good. And I think you're manifesting love. You are manifesting love. And it's because you're loving yourself. Now, be very specific with the type of person that you want to come into your life. Be very specific. For some of you, you're going to have someone come in. They may be a fixed sign. They may be an Aquarius. Um... But they're not your usual type. They're not your usual type. They might be actually very different from you, Gemini. But very nice, very nice, Gemini. I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, stay tuned for the How Your Person Feels. Uh, those are coming up here in the very near future. All right, guys, I wish you a wonderful month. Take care.